<laughs> we heaved everything we could get our hands on into the office and spent. Passports, trucks, races, the <laughs> the piano player surrendered. I think it was to Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> Climbed up on the stage, sat on one of the, on one of the school desks, <laughs> and joined the act. It was Chico. I don't remember much about the rest of the performance. <laughs> It can't be that cold in here. <laughs> Except that Chico ad-libbed uh, an hilarious part as an Italian boy and the fiddle player in the orchestra warmed up. The fiddle player in the orchestra nearly stopped the show. The fiddle player was a local kid named Benny Kubelski, right? Benny Kubelski. Until this day, when as Jack Benny... Now he's known as Waukegan's first citizen. He still can't look at any one of the Marx brothers without breaking up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. look, we've got a harp here, Harpo. Will you play something for us right after a station break? This is today on NBC. Well, now, Harper, before you play for us, um, how long have you been playing the harp? Three years? <laughs> ten years. <laughs> well, will you take all ten of those fingers over and play the harp for us, please? say it's the most varied breakfast in the United States this morning. <laughs> Absolute bullseye. It's a little more dangerous here than it is um, on the firing line, isn't it? <laughs> You're looking splendid this morning. You played the harp beautifully. Oh, yep. It's all, it's all think. I know that. Well, Harpo, I know you have many and varied interests, and the harp is only one of them. And I... Uh, Harpo, I said you have many and varied interests, and the harp is only... Harpo... <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. <laughs> One new arm, please. <laughs> oh, golly, you were just wonderful. And I, may I say... <laughs> <laughs> they are too oh, much. dear. <laughs> this is a wonderful way to start a day, Harpo. Would you give our best regards to Groucho? Uh, you know, it's a wonderful family, really. Um, Harpo never says anything, and yet can start a day this early with all of us now in wonderful good humor and laughing. 
And Chico has, in his own particular way, does the same thing. And uh, Zip, Zeppo does exactly the same thing. And Gummo, mm -hmm. each in his own way, fine, that's, you know, that's beautiful. You use the Parma method. <laughs> that's very nice indeed. But Groucho used to come to New York once in a while, and we had a mutual friend, and we would sit in uh, Foot Shores. You remember, Jack. Mm -hmm. And you can't eat a meal with Groucho any more than you can sit without breaking up with laughter with, with Harpo, because you never know what he's going to say next. And right. what I finally got, so I used to take my own sandwich. I was paying for these expensive <laughs> meals and never getting a chance to eat them. <laughs> this is a, a book which uh, we recommend, needless to say. It's full of good fun, as, as, as Harpo is. But uh, it's particularly, I think, uh, worthwhile because you seem to have almost total recall. There are wonderful stories about the Algonquin uh, circle. That, that uh, well, There's one I marked in here that just tickled me. Do you mind if I uh, do a little bit of, of reading? It says, um, uh, one night I brought around a copy of Shouts and Murmurs for Alexander Wolcott to uh, autograph. Alex signed the book, handling it with loving tenderness, and then sighed and said, uh, what is so rare as a Wolcott first edition? A Wolcott second edition, said Frank. <laughs> it's, it's full of, of that wonderful kind of fun. And I know that uh, we'll enjoy finishing reading it as much as we've enjoyed having you here with us, Harpo. Thanks much, Lee, for Harpo joining us. Harpo. 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 Harpo.